Hey everybody, Nick here, and today um, I got a disassembly discourse for you. Um, the, 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 the disassembly is going to be this little guy. This is the uh, Spydeco Shaman in S90V in carbon fiber. Beautiful knife, just got it from the uh, factory. Well, not from the factory, but from a retailer. Not so long ago, haven't cleaned it up yet, so it's about freaking time. Um, but the, 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 the topic of today's discourse is the idea of a muskrat moment as a social media personality. So this is a term that I don't think anybody else uses, but for me, it has a very specific meaning. It's one of those damn days where you feel like, oh my god, I give up. I'm just moving to Siberia to raise muskrats. Where you just kind of feel done with the whole thing, right? Um, This is, by the way, not a, a, oh my god, I'm quitting YouTube. This is not a I high drama situation. This is just honestly me venting a little bit and me feeling a little bit frustrated right now. Um, As a YouTube personality, if you will, uh, you have to have thick skin. Um, And in fact, this is something that a lot of people have commented on to me directly like uh, you know and uh, this comes from a bunch of sources you know makers for instance will read comments on reviews of their things and be like wow people are really harsh and you know like to me honestly at this point it doesn't even register after looking at the comments on my channel and i do read most comments on my channel if not all of them i try to read all of them um uh, but nevertheless even if i don't have time to respond i see it and so for me it's sort of like wow i yeah all of these things are true and i end up you know saying to makers things like don't you know don't worry about it you're hearing very often from a relatively vocal minority and you know everybody's gonna say if they hate you but you know people are much less likely to share their joy but anyways, um, so this is something that you, you develop a thick skin after a little while. And one of the things that I think is, is very often hard for people who are getting into social media for the first time is developing that. You know, some people don't have that to start with. And as a result, then they end up feeling like, oh, my God, this is a horrible place. That is YouTube, etc. I mean, and it's kind of a running joke, right? The YouTube comment section on the internet is is often pretty brutal. Um, and even on just random videos, it could be, you know, a freaking baby shock video and people are in there posting them just horrible stuff. But anyways, I, I digress. Um this normally doesn't really get to me. Um and in fact, you know, even now it's not gotten to me. I'm not so freaking tilted at the moment. However, at the same time, um, it, it's definitely something that occasionally is just a little bit bothersome. Yesterday, I posted a, a, a review, well, uh, the, well, the day before I filmed this, not yesterday when you're watching it. I don't quite know why I'm putting this live. But anyways, I, I, I went live with a review that I think a lot of people disagreed on. So this little watch here, the GSD um, uh, 4M, I, I think it's a great little watch, but a lot of people were going down sort of predictable paths of like, $900 for a watch? Are you insane? Yeah, perfectly valid. That's an opinion you're welcome to have. Oh, my God, I'm not buying Chinese-made anything. All right, he's not even this, you know, a bunch of things like that. And, in fact, I told the, you know, the maker review to watch the review, and he was like, oh, my God, these comments. Yeah, like, yeah, that's a thing. But, anyways, it was a particularly rough, um, you know, there were a couple of very vocal people who really felt the need to share all of their, uh, vent their spleen, so to speak, in there. Um, And you know what? That's fine. You're welcome to share your opinion. And, and this dissenting opinions in some ways are often worth more, right? Because, you know, when somebody agrees with me, like, that's, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing that. And, you know, even just sharing like, hey, I appreciate the review. That's a nice thing. It's nice to read, um, if nothing else. But, um, you know, when somebody has a strongly divergent opinion, that's actually often helpful. If people are like, oh, well, you know, actually, I, I'm, a, I'm an actual freaking Navy SEAL, um, and uh, I own this knife, and I love it for these reasons. That's useful information for my viewers, right? That's, uh, that, that, that's helpful. By the way, if you're ever curious about any of the tools, nickshabazz.com slash tools. Anyways, I digress. Um, you know, it can be very helpful to have people leave comments. It can be very helpful to have people, you know, sort of uh, sharing their perspective independently of my own. I'm not sitting here saying, if you don't agree with me, don't post. But there is definitely a level of vitriol um, that comes about from some people as they are, you know, talking about and posting these kinds of comments, right? And it tends to be brought out in some videos. Watch videos, for whatever reason, tend to have a much more harsh um, set of comments than other videos. Um, you know, partly because there's a heavy streak of fanboyism, partly because there's a, a heavy streak of very often watches tend to be expensive and they're a, they, they are a luxury good. A modern mechanical watch is a luxury good. And so there are a lot of people who feel the need to kind of sh uh, signal the fact that, they, that they, they find that kind of thing frivolous. That's fine. You're welcome to disagree. Um, but nevertheless, there are often some very nasty comments that come through or just very like concertedly like, you're wrong. Where 
or it's not just like I disagree with you, but hey, thanks for the video, or it's just like they they they, they want to tell me exactly how wrong I am and just how I, I am bad and should feel bad. And mind you, I might well be bad. Maybe I should feel bad, but it, it can be a little rough sometimes. And, you know, similarly, um, a lot of the comments that don't show up, you know, I have a, a relatively robust set of keyword filters going on there, and not for things that are like, you know, I disagree with you. No, 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 no. This is for, like, the serious stuff. I get a shocking amount of hate speech. Um, this has been, especially for the last two years or so, a, a major problem. But, like, some of the comments I get in there that tend to be caught up either by YouTube's filter itself or by, um, by the, you know, keyword filter, um, it's just amazing. It's like, wow, I didn't even know there were people who still thought these things. Um, but uh, there, there you go. And so there are days where it just feels like, or maybe an older video gets caught up by a couple of fanboys. You know, a, a, a fanboy posted on a forum, and some brands tend to be, re you know, particularly particularly beloved by, um, well, shall we say, a younger crowd who tend to be very brigady, etc. But there are days where an old video that hasn't seen a view in like, you know, four months will suddenly light up with a bunch of people telling me I am just absolutely the worst freaking human being ever. And, you know, again, I'm doing my best not to be. But nevertheless, that's kind of it's ugly. It always feels a little bit unpleasant when that goes on. And, you know, today is one of those days. Mind you, Today is that those days are the exception, not the rule. I'm in no danger of shutting down the channel. I know for a lot of people it wears them down very readily, right? Um, you know, people I've heard from many, many people in the review community and elsewhere who just feel like, oh my God, why do I keep doing this if this is the kind of stuff that you see all, all the damn time? And, and sometimes it's even in emails, right? I'll get people who email me just to precisely tell me that I am wrong, and not just again. Not I'm always willing to hear, you know, Nick. I think you got this one wrong, and here's why, but thanks. That, that's great. I, I learned from that. But no, where it's just like, you are an idiot, you are wrong. People who are very clearly angry at the world, and because I happen to be some part of their world at that moment, um, they decide that they're going to tell me that, and they're going to share that anger with me. Um, again, I totally get this. This is a part of human psychology, and I do my best to just sort of let it run off the back, but there are definitely muskrat moments. There are definitely days where it feels like, you know what, I, I love doing this. The channel is amazing, um, and it's not something I plan to stop anytime soon, but I can totally see why it can chase some people off. I can totally see why the intensity of some of the commenting, why, why the, 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 just the, that some people feel can feel really toxic after a little while. And especially if you start getting into the stuff that never makes it to the com never makes it to the channel, to the stuff I delete, it's just like, oh my God. Um, and so, you know, I guess the point of this video is, you know, at some level, woe is me, but, you know, at another level, not really. I'm going to be fine. You know, it's funny, by the way, people at work will occasionally say something to me like, you know, oh, Nick, we got some, uh, uh, I put some serious feedback in there. Don't feel too bad. You know, I, I'm trying to be constructive. And it's like, bro, I got a YouTube comment stream. You ain't going to break my heart, you know? <laughs> Like, seriously, do you have any idea the kinds of crap I'm putting up with? Um, uh, nevertheless, I, 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 I digress. But um, I, I feel very much like, um, you know, all I ask of you is you're going about your YouTube days, you're watching this video or any other video from any other human, is to remember that there is a human who is reading your comments. You know, certainly in some channels, they, 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 it's just fire and forget. You know, somebody uploads a video, never thinks about it again. But in my case, certainly, and I think in many other cases, there are humans who run these channels. There are humans who read these comments. And there are people with actual lives. There are people with actual, you know, with feelings, right? And people with feelings that are, you know, Know, complex, right? And they're people who are taking a part of their time, a part of their life. And, you know, even in my case, I'm lucky enough that I have the support of the community, both in terms of viewers, subscribers, etc., um, as well as my Patreon patrons who still do make the channel possible because in many ways, that kind of support is the antidote to the muskrat moment where it's like, you know, no matter how bad I feel about the anonymous jackass who's just complaining about free content, it makes me so happy to see the people who are willing to support and not just happy in the financial sense, but happy in the just like, oh, they like me sense um, to, to see those people who are willing to step up and support the channel, even for a tiny little amount of month. It's just like, that's a vote of confidence. But anyways, as you're going through, as you're making comments, as you're looking at any video of any damn thing, just be kind. Think to yourself, A, is this comment teaching anybody anything? Maybe, maybe it's not. If it's not teaching anybody anything, 
is it liable to make somebody feel a little better or a little bit worse? If your answer is that it's going to make them feel better, then great, do it. I have no problem with people posting, and I see wonderful comments of just support. And that's the kind of thing I want to encourage, a supportive community, where it's like, you know what, I disagree with you, but that, that was a fine video. Or you know what, that, that, there are ways to be incredibly supportive, while at the same time, a completely dissenting opinion. And in fact, that's one of the things I love about the group of reviewers that I, I, I interact with base, regularly, is that, you know, they can be 100% wrong, but I still support them, and vice versa. Um, that, that's a wonderful gift that you can give to people. But, you know, as you're commenting, like I said, remember there is a human on the other side of the screen. I will be reading your, your comments, not just on this video, but just on videos generally. And it's and also the makers will be too. And so remember that that can hurt in a much stronger way because I, I didn't even create the damn thing. It's a nice damn thing, by the way. I'm... Uh... I'm liking this guy. But anyways, um, that, that can be especially important. So think very carefully. Am I teaching anybody anything with this comment? And if not, is it going to make the world a better place? And if the answer to both of those things is no, ask yourself why you post it. not saying you can't. I'm not going to censor you away. I'm not going to get rid of... I don't like to get rid of comments generally. But, um, you know, ask yourself why you're doing it. And, uh, you know, I think that's just a recipe to make YouTube a slightly less toxic place. And luckily, the majority of my commenters are amazing. You guys are awesome. But, um, you know, it's just those... It's those jerks. It's those jackasses. It's those people who just leave you uh, just on occasion feeling like, you know what? Muskrats are pretty cute. So anyways, there you go. I hope this has been interesting to you and that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and that you are definitely not considering the Siberia move anytime soon. Bye now.